Hi, I'm Karen Vaca, and I'm the Assistant Animal Curator here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. Hi, I'm Roxanne G. Ambro from the Tropical Forest at the zoo, and this is our baby gorilla once again. When he was first pulled from the troop, he was four weeks old, so basically he was just hanging on to mom. That, that's about all he would do, and he was starting to look around. I remember the day when he actually became aware of my presence right there. Um, he was looking at the lights, but there was no, um, there was no walking because he was too young. There was no eating of food yet. So he's made all these advancements in these three months that he's been away from his mother. One of the things that we've, um, and we're striving to do is actually to get him sleeping through the night and to get his bottles done to, because right now he's, he's drinking probably a bottle every three to four hours. Not that he's finishing them at that point, but um, we're still offering him three to four bottles, but we've cut his intake of bottles down um, where his schedule used to be. He'd have a midnight bottle, a 3 a.m. bottle, and a 6 a.m. bottle. All three of those bottles have been cut out, so now he has a 9 p.m. bottle, and then he doesn't have another bottle till like 7, 8 in the morning and we weigh him every morning, he's still gaining weight. So he is starting to sleep through the night. Just like a typical baby, when you think he is sleeping through the night, then he decides to change and starts waking up at five and he's up till seven. So he does pretty much have a routine, but um, we would like to see it, because gorillas like to sleep. Once they go down for the night, they sleep through the night. If you remember with his food too, we were breaking up little pieces of cooked sweet potato placing it in his mouth and some of it would he would eat some of it and then some of it would actually drop out now you see him he's just he's holding his own food he's choosing his own food um, so we have offered a bunch of different foods so he actually chooses his own food what he wants to eat I mean bottles are still his main part of his diet but he is deciding what he wants to eat we always have it here this is kind of like his little bag of Cheerios <laughs> And you can see he's got a lot more hair than when we first started out. He, you could, used to see his skin through his, through his hair, and now you could just see hair. If you remember when he was like four, five weeks old, when we first started taking footage of him, that he would kind of just lay on his belly. He kind of raised himself, but he was very wobbly. Each week, he would learn to stand. He was less wobbly, well, take a couple steps. Now you can see if he wants something, he's running right to it. And he can pick up some speed if he wants to. And he's actually sitting like a gorilla now. And he just started to do that last week. <laughs> One thing that we talked about earlier um, when we were um, starting to have people help us and there was the 24-hour care, and we stressed that we don't treat him like a human baby, that he is a gorilla and we need to treat him that way. So. We don't hold him, we don't coddle him, um, but we do carry him around. Now that we're getting closer to the date that he's actually gonna be in with the gorilla troop, that we're starting to even ramp it up a little bit more and trying to act like gorillas. So if you noticed before when I would just, when he was walking away, I just grabbed him by his back leg and pulled him. Now you wouldn't do that with your human baby, but that's exactly what a mother gorilla would do. So we're not gentle with him, you know, we do pull him around and move him around, but this helps and he's strong and he's not afraid of it. So, I mean, can you imagine going in if you were held like a human baby and then you're put in with gorillas and the first thing she does is hold you by your back leg? It can be pretty terrifying. So, mm -hmm. he needs to be used to this, that this is not a scary thing. Plus, he's got amazing muscles and he's going to need those living with the family and, and also hanging onto his mom constantly. 